I've been shackled, I've been handcuffed, and I've been blindfolded, and also they make me hooded. They put a hood on your head? Yes. For how many hours would that last? I don't know, because I cannot see anything, but very, very long time. And then they handcuff me like this. So your, your, your hand hands are cuffed and they hang, hang you on something? Yes, exactly. And then they start to torture, for example, like to put my hands up, handcuff, and for several hours, and then you will feel very painful. And then, for example, you need to do a lot of extreme exercise. The strike test is that, for example, you need to um, something like this for several hours as well, and you, you will shuffle, your legs will shuffle, and, and, you cannot and stand it, still. And if you tried to sit down or stop, what would happen? They would beat me, yeah, and then even... They, they, did they beat you? Yeah, of course. Of course, they would ask, where did the consulate instruct me to, to mingle with the protest? They regard me as the mastermind represents the UK. The consulate instructed and recruited volunteers uh, from the staff to tap into and stay tuned the status of the protesters and report back to consulate. I actually I, I, I cried and I, I said um, don't need to torture me. I would say anything you want to say, but I want to make 100% clear is that I didn't. The UK, the UK didn't assign any resources, materials and something to the protest. One young girl got in, and then one of the interrogators told me she is also because of the protest. I've been brought to the detention center. I realized not only me, it's a bunch of the people also from Hong Kong get caught because of the protest. How many do you think? What I saw is about 10, but I'm not sure how many. But I would, I would feel a, quite a lot. And I heard someone spoke in Cantonese saying that, raise your hands up. Because he said, you raised lots of flags when you was in the protest, isn't it? Raise your hands up, quite loud, and I feel that is a torture, part of torture, because I remember I have been taught, I have been raised my hands up as well. Have you ever uh, visited a prostitute? Have you ever solicited prostitution? Did you in Shenzhen? Have you at any point in your life? I don't want to focus on the question whether I solicit prostitutions because that's exactly what they want. So I just wanted to stay clear here is that I did nothing regrettable to those people I cherish and love. I did nothing regrettable to that.